A global effort is underway to help the South Pacific island of Tonga after a massive underwater volcanic eruption this weekend. Now word this evening of a first fatality. A British woman listed as missing has been found dead. Australia and New Zealand launched surveillance flights to assess the damage. The volcano triggered a tsunami alert here in the Bay Area. Coastal areas and harbors reported flooding and some damage. This evening, there is precious little communications with Tonga. KPI X5's John Ramos on the people here in the Bay Area who are trying to break through. The tsunami that hit Tonga wiped out key infrastructure, and now they're scrambling to try and reestablish some kind of communication link. But there is one bit of hopeful news received by someone right here in the Bay Area. The first pictures of the tsunami rolling in were posted to the internet, but a short time later, everything went dark as normal communication systems failed. But that's what ham radio operators like Dick Wade are prepared for. The antenna above his Walnut Creek home is pointed toward Tonga. But so far, he hasn't been able to pick up anything recognizable. It's a part of the world that's difficult from this area to reach, but Australia and New Zealand, they should start hearing lots of stuff, and the emergency authorities in that part of the world should, through ham radio, should be able to make some contact with them. Though the ash clouds from the volcano are weakening radio signals, Wade expects that networks of amateur radio operators will soon be established to help get word out to worried friends and family around the world. This afternoon, the Tongan Consul General told KPIX that while direct communication has not been made, several recon flights over the island nation show damage that was described as substantial. Talita Kefu lives in San Mateo now, but the rest of her family is still in Tonga. She was worried like everyone else, but yesterday got a precious gift. You got one minute to talk to your sister? I got one minute, and that was just the best. That was just the best. Her sister talked someone at the local phone company into a one-minute call on a satellite phone. It was just enough time to say that everyone was okay and to pass on information that may come as a relief to others as well. Our home is about is less than a mile from the waterfront. And she said no water made it to our home. So that, that says something. And uh, some of the families that live nearby us were messaging us like, okay, so if, if your home is safe, does that mean um, ours is okay too? It was like, I, I think so from what she described to me. So I'm, I'm really optimistic about that. There are other islands in Tonga where the news may be different, but any news, especially positive news, is being received gratefully by friends and family who, so far, have been left to imagine the worst. In San Mateo, John Ramos, KPIX 5. COVID will make any relief effort difficult. So far, Tonga has only had one case of the virus. Emergency workers coming into the country are now being carefully screened to prevent any spread of the disease.